Hello, welcome to the Hope Clinic. Do you have an appointment? That's okay. We take walk-ins, it's okay. Can I just ask you a few questions? Can we start with your name, please? Can you spell your last name for me? Thank you. And what's your address? Thank you. And a phone number. And can we reach you here in the daytime? And how about in the evenings? Is this a cell? Okay. And your date of birth, please. And do you have any insurance? Okay. Okay, not a problem. And what are we seeing you for today? Okay, so you're having some lingering symptoms. Okay, how long has this been going on? Got it. Um, now I just need to take a family history, if you don't mind. Um, so when I ask you the question, if you could please let me know if anyone in your immediate family um, so that includes your parents, your siblings, or any of your grandparents um, have had any of these illnesses. That would be useful. And of course, if you yourself deals with any of this, please also let me know. Okay, okay. Uh, so first, high blood pressure. How about any heart disease? Is there high cholesterol, you or your family? Okay. Um, any history of cancer? Stroke? Um, any history of depression? Anxiety? Insomnia? Any other mental health disorders? Any other physical illnesses or history I should be aware of? And do you have any allergies? Okay, the last thing I need you to do is to please list the medications that you're currently taking. This includes any vitamins or supplements. Okay, um, so please just make me a list and when you're finished, you can sign at the bottom. This is just our consent form indicating that we can add these to all your records. Okay. All finished filling it out. Thank you. I'll put this into the system and let the doctor know that you're ready. A nurse should be out in a few minutes to take you back. In the meantime, can I get you anything to drink? Some water? Sure. Grab a seat and I'll bring you some water. Of course. Hi, I'm Jessie. I'm one of the nurses. I'm just going to take you back and take some of your
vitals. Okay, so um, I see here that the receptionist asked you some of our basic questions. I just have a few more, if you don't mind. Can you tell me your height? And your weight? Okay. Um, in the last few weeks, have you had any cold or respiratory symptoms? Allergies, congestion. Okay. Any fever, shortness of breath? Okay. I'm just going to take your blood pressure, so please just sit back and relax. Okay, your blood pressure is looking good. I'm going to take your pulse. Okay, your pulse looks good. And I'll just take your temperature. Excellent. Okay, that's all the vitals. So, can you tell me a little bit about what brought you in? Okay. Can you tell me what you've been experiencing since then? Have you been experiencing any headaches, vision problems, any dizziness or confusion? Have you experienced any brain fog or memory issues? Um, how about respiratory? Any trouble breathing, congestion in your chest or your nose? Okay. Any ear problems? Yeah, okay. How about musculature? Have you had any muscle tension or joint issues? about gastro? How's your stomach been? Your appetite? Okay. And how's your energy level? Do you feel like that has changed since the onset? Gotten worse or better or about the same? So some fatigue? Yep, okay. Any sleep or insomnia? And I see that the receptionist asked you about mental health. Um, you know, how has your mood been? Okay. 
course, that's understandable. Any history of depression, anxiety? Okay. Of course, yes. Anything else I should be aware of? Have you found that anything helps with the symptoms? Anything helps lessen or alleviate it? Okay. Okay, good, good. What exacerbates your symptoms? What tends to make it worse? Okay. Yes, that makes sense. Okay. Is there anything else I should know before I bring the doctor in? Okay, well, I'll go get her. Thank you for answering all my questions. I really do appreciate it. Okay. The doctor should be back soon. Hello. Yes, I'm Dr. Samantha Smith, but you can just call me Sammy. Yeah, I like to be pretty informal with my patients. Please have a seat, relax. I just want to take a few moments to talk to you a little bit before we move on to the examination. Okay? So I I see here in your chart that you've been through a lot. I just want to check in and see how you're doing with that. You know, experiencing all these symptoms for a long time and not having any answers can be frustrating and rather overwhelming. How have you been feeling? Yeah. Yeah, I can imagine how scary and frustrating it must be. Yeah, so... I see here from your file that you've been to a number of specialists and haven't felt like they've helped a lot. Yeah, there's still so much we don't know about this disease and that can be very frustrating for those like you who are suffering from this. So I just want you to know that I'm here to be your ally. I'm here to be not only a comfort and a support, you know, someone who's going to try as hard as they can to find answers for you and solutions to making you feel better, but also just to someone that you can talk to, someone that you can turn to when you need advice or, you know, just someone to vent to. I know oftentimes a lot of doctors will be very dismissive if they don't know the answers to your questions or they can't figure out what's wrong with you. They don't mean to be. Most don't. Um, You know, people don't like not knowing. Um, But what that often does, at least in my experience with the number of patients I've seen at the Hope Clinic, is that that makes people feel dismissed or unheard. So I just want to start off by saying that I'm here listening to you, that I believe you, that all these symptoms you're experiencing are real. You're not making them up. I see your history. I mean, I haven't examined you yet, but I can tell from seeing you and talking to you that this is something serious that's been bothering you for a long time. So 
I want you to know that I am going to do everything I can to try to help you. And I'm also going to coordinate your care. At the Hope Clinic, we don't think it should be the patient's responsibility to jump around from doctor to doctor, trying to find help on their own. Here at the Hope Clinic, we want to help coordinate your care to take some of that burden off of you, to allow you to be an advocate for your own health and well-being, but to also have an ally, someone that can be your spokesperson to the medical professionals, particularly if you're not feeling heard. So I want to start off by just listening. I know you've probably told your story many, many times, but this is an opportunity for you to tell me everything from the moment you got sick till today. So let's start at the beginning. What happened? How did you first get sick? And what was your experience like fighting the disease? And I'm just going to take notes as you speak. Mm -hmm. Okay. How long did those symptoms last? Okay. What happened next? Please keep going. How long did you see them for? Okay, did it help at all? Okay, did they prescribe you anything? I do. I see that in your chart. Okay. Please continue. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Hmm. Lately, has that gotten better or worse? About the same? Okay. All right. Is there anything else you want me to know? I understood. Okay. Thank you so much for sharing that with me. It must have been very scary to go through what you did and very frustrating to get the response that you've gotten. People who have dismissed or not believed you 
or felt like you should just get over it. We hear that from a lot of patients and it's very demoralizing and not supportive at all. Yes. It's helpful to hear from you and from your conversation with the nurse what has worked, what hasn't. And I see that you've tried many things, tests, examinations. So you've tried so hard to get help in as many ways as you could. And that's a lot. That's a, a burden on you to try to even find doctors and deal with insurance and medical bills. And so, you know, the first thing I want to say is that, um, you've been a true advocate for yourself and that's important. Please do continue to do that. Yeah. I want you to know that what you've expressed and what you're feeling, it's totally normal. It's expected after what you've been through to feel that way. But again, I want you to know that I'm here to help in any way I can. So given that, what are your goals for today's meeting? What would you most like to get out of this conversation and examination today? Okay. Of course, I can give you a full examination from head to toe. And like you may have experienced in the past, if I examine you and I don't notice anything, that doesn't mean that you're not experiencing issues. It just means that upon this surface look, I don't notice anything. One of the interesting things about long haul symptoms like you're experiencing is that sometimes on test, everything looks normal. For other people, there are clear indications. But for those where everything seems normal and yet you're still experiencing symptoms, obviously something's going on in the body that we just can't see with the examinations we're doing. That doesn't mean we can't attempt to treat it. it, just means it's a little harder to diagnose what's going on. So, um, you know, if I look at you and say that everything looks okay, don't take that as an indication that I'm dismissing what you're feeling. Um, certainly not. Um, given what you're experiencing, we want to find ways to help you manage that. Others like you um, who have come to the clinic have found ways to manage this and have a a happy, healthy life. So I see hope here. I don't see this as um, a doom and gloom diagnosis. Um, we're just going to take this one step at a time. And uh, for now, as you've asked for, I will do a complete examination. And I'll also give you some suggestions on ways to manage these symptoms going forward. And then third, a plan of action for what to do next. I would like to meet with you again after this meeting and also set up or coordinate some additional care so that you have everything in place to help you be successful on the road to recovery. Does that sound like a good plan? 